on a worldwide scale using email. Kevin Bacon is more than a movie star. He's a game. Because he's in so many movies, the University of Virginia created a website testing the six degrees of separation theory. Type in any movie star, and they're at most six contacts away from being in a film with Bacon. Turns out, we're all connected. A study released in the journal Science had people tracking down strangers using email. Columbia University set up a website called the Small World Project. More than 60,000 people put it to the test. When you signed up, you were given a target person to find, knowing only their name, where they went to school, and a general location where they live now. To reach that target, you email someone you think will get you closer to the target. That person emails someone else, and on and on. Richard Griffiths, who works at CNN, got one of those emails from a friend in California and joined in. Their target, a student in Russia. It worked. The friend in California sent it to me, I sent it on to a friend in uh, Moscow, and she passed it on to somebody else who passed it on to somebody else, and ultimately it got there. It took nine emails. Ultimately, we were able to reach someone whom we'd never met through just simple email. Lynn McConville emailed a colleague in Rockford, Illinois, and five emails later tracked down a person in Western Australia. Of the 24,000 email chains, most did not reach their target. Emails got lost, people got busy, but those that did, about 400 in all, less than 2%, made it in an average of six emails. Researchers say it's a tribute to the ability of humans to network with each other, even strangers, and how a little persistence can go a long way. Now joining me now from our New York Bureau, one of the researchers on the project, Roby Muhammad. And welcome, Roby, but why didn't more people succeed in the chain? Did they just get discouraged or does it say that the six degrees of separation doesn't work? What do you think? Uh, yes, uh, the main reason is because of the lack of motivation for people to participate. So uh, if we start with the 20,000 people and we ha have the response rate about 37 percent, at the second step we have about 8,000 people and at the third step we have about 3,000 people and by the eighth step, we only left with ten people. So, so, so uh, people just basically got discouraged. They weren't given enough incentive to go on and find that target person, huh? Yes, that's correct. Our people do this for free. I mean, we don't provide any reward uh, of any kind. So your fa one of your favorites, you were telling me, is started in the UK. Tell me about that chain. Yeah, it started from uh, Eastbourne, UK, a military officer there. Uh, then his target is a student in uh, Siberia. So he sent to his uncle in Uganda. He sent it to his uncle because his uncle has visited Russia before. So he sent it to Uganda and his uncle sent it to his internet friend in Moscow. So, and then this student in Moscow sent it to Siberia who is also a student. But this student in Siberia turns out to be in the same school with the target person. So it reached the Siberia from UK with just uh, four steps, but went through like Uganda, which is very unlikely if you think beforehand. Now, six degrees of separation is for the United States. Uh, you were saying that a hundred degrees of separation is more accurate for the world. Is that correct? Well, uh, actually, the number there is no theoretical reason why the number should be six. The number may or may not be six, but it should be small. And I would say that it should less than 100. So why the number is six is still a mystery. And to get people to join up, you still are looking for people to hop on board and take the te uh, to try out and see if they can reach a target. Absolutely. We hope more people to participate because the more people, we will certainly get more uh, completed chains. And the email address is, I mean, the website is www.smallworldproject.columbia.edu. Uh, www.smallworld.columbia.edu Okay, smallworld.edu. Thank you so much for joining us today. And it is Glad a to small be here. world. Yes, it is. Frederica?